So my next speaker is someone who I'm sure most of you who've been in this business longer than a week know, and it's Bambi Cantrell. And Miss Bambi, now I gotta tell you, what I, she is Miss Awesome Sauce, okay? But when I first started going to conventions, this is, you know, gosh, should I say how long it was, Bambi, that I've been I seeing you? She is the, the, the princess of imaging, or something like that. But when I, one of the first workshops I went to a lot of years ago was one of Miss Bambi's workshops. And I was immediately impressed out of all these workshops that I went to. She was there at the door introducing herself to people which is something that I've seen you do many times. She actually takes the time to say hello to every single person that walked into her room. And from that moment on, I liked her. And I didn't even care what she said. It could be like the worst program ever, but I was like, I love you. You're so nice. You're so awesome. <laughs> but the top it all off, her program was exceptional. She is one of the most exceptional instructors and inspirational people in her industry. She's also the mother to uh, a very, very lovely, oh God, totally blank name, Cameron. And I think, for any parent, that's one of your crowning achievements, is being a great mother, a great wife, a great husband, for me, not a wife. And uh, so she should be very proud of that. She's, she's teaching a workshop, if you guys are uh, interested in learning from Bambi, uh, sponsored by Metropolitan Bride, is that right? Coming up pretty soon, that's what I heard about. And if you get a chance to go to her workshops, please do. Bambi Kentrell, come on up. <laughs> I'm like the oldest freaking photographer in the entire universe. I'm the one who knows how to reinvent themselves. And you know, in order to reinvent yourself, you have had to, to invent yourself, which means guess what? You gotta know an F-stop from a bus stop, folks, okay? And you also need, whoa, we cannot have gotten to that slide yet, but that's okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, you need to understand the way light crosses the body. You need to understand how to pose people and make them look their very best. Because you know, at the end of the day, if you don't look good, we are not going to like the pictures. So, Tamara, I just have one question. Does my butt look fat in these pants? Good, I'm glad to hear that. I really believe that it all begins with the art of communication. It's about knowing when to, to tell people to turn one way or the other. And I believe that visual cues are absolutely the very best that you can do. If you stand over here and you say, hey, turn your feet this way, I promise you their whole body is going to go that direction. It's not going to stay flat-footed. It's also important for us that we keep the mind of a child. You know, you got to have patience like little children do. You know, if you look at this little kid, you know, they're not going to just give it up for anyone. And I have to tell you, when I started in photography, I was absolutely petrified to photograph little kids. I mean terrified. I would rather run from the room than photograph children. I'd rather photograph mature older women like this because I kind of related to them. But one of the things I've learned is that no matter who the subject is, who you are, that you have got to get engaged with that particular person. And it's going to take effort, that you cannot sit back on your little lazy behind and whine and gripe because it didn't go the way you wanted it to go, but only it's because you didn't do anything to do it. So I say, instead of sitting back on your haunches, get that, that reflector or get that mirror as in that photograph, drag it down to the beach, be willing to work really hard to get what you need to get done, lay that fine foundation, and then be willing to do something crazy, like create a dress out of newspapers, which is what I did with this photograph. I really believe in saying, what if? Well, what if I create a dress out of, of crazy things like newspapers? What's going to happen? You know what happens? Your client loves the experience, and the experience is the most important thing that you can give a person. Give them a great experience, and they will love your pictures. Um, also, I want you to think of abstract things as in a way that becomes something else. So in other words, think of a chair as a becoming a potential background. Be willing to have little kids go running down the hallway, throwing their arms up and screaming at the top of their lungs because what happens right after that, you get the holy grail. You get people doing what happens naturally and get amazing experiences. That couch right there that you see in this photograph was the background that you saw early in the girl with the hair, the crazy hair thing going on. And it's been my experience that if I take that experience and I keep the what if attitude going on, and if I pre-plan in my mind concepts, not pictures, but concepts for creating imagery, I can go very, very far. I can have a blast with those clients. So I believe that it's important to have that foundation, but again, to continue to pay attention to who the client is. 
You know, with this girl who has got this big tattooed heart on her chest, you can't photograph her the same way or with the same parameters that you do somebody who's wearing this big poofy ball gown with a little tiara on her head. You have to think about who that subject is and how can you interpret them. And that's why it's important to continue to try to, to look at what they're wearing or what they're not wearing in this case. Think about it. She's got great legs. Are you going to show them off? Maybe crop it in an interesting way. Is she the little princess? who loves to wear a tiara on her head. One of my favorite things to do, I love going to thrift stores and resale shops and junk stores and consignment stores. I love them because they really help me to find all kinds of crazy little props that are super inexpensive. I drag them down to the beach and we have a ball with them. And it's a really cool way because it creates an experience. I get great pictures, but more than that, the client goes home going, oh my God, she took this couch down to the beach and we had this fabulous time and then the funny part is, is they'll tell all their friends about that nutty stuff and then their friends will come to hire you, but they won't want that. So have the attitude of a little kid and be willing to take the, the experience and the chances and not be afraid to try those wonderful things. If you have the attitude of a child, how many of you have ever seen little kids and that they're not afraid to try something new? They say, well, what happens if I do it wrong? No big deal. Woohoo! It's all right. You and I are the ones that get ourselves so worked up, and Tamara, you brought it out so very well, and that we're the ones who work ourselves up into a frenzy, and oh, if we make a mistake and we take a bad picture, we beat ourselves to death for weeks about it. I say, put it in a rocket ship, shoot it to the moon, because you cannot change that. All you can do is move forward and go from there. So, with that said, my goal is this. That is that you have a great experience, you learn how to take great pictures because you understand the technical aspects of photography and you'll learn an F-stop from a bus stop. Thanks a lot.